To my channel so today I bring you a non Halloween tutorial I know those are like tons of fun but I do miss my regular beauty tutorials although this does feature a really dark lip so if you are being a vampire or maybe a witch for Halloween you could probably just make up look too but anyway this is my favorite way to wear a dark lipstick I know some people are really afraid to wear dark lip lipsticks but if you pair with a really nice simple eye like how I'm going to demonstrate today, then it becomes really easy to wear and you probably won't get any funny looks out and about. But I have no problem wearing a smoky eye with a dark lip either, so whatever suits your style. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, then of course just keep on watching. Alright guys, so to start off this look, I am taking my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and of course just working this all over my entire lid with a brush that's from Urban Decay, don't know the name of it. <laughs> then taking my Bobbi Brown Eye Blender and dipping into the Morphe 35K palette, I'm taking this nice yellow banana shade and just running this along my crease in back and forth and circular motions. Then with that same brush, I am taking this matte shade which, which is a little more on the taupe side but has some red in it and again on that same brush, just running that in my crease and in circular motions just to add a little bit more depth. Then taking the shade that's right underneath that one, and this one's a lot warmer, and again on the same brush, circular motions, nothing too crazy. And then taking my Bobbi Brown Camel eyeshadow because I did want the eye look to be very warm. I do like to pair warm tones with dark lips just so we have a balance and it's not too cool tone. For me, if it's all cool tone, and then a dark lip, you're running the risk of it looking a little, sometimes a little too harsh or scary. For me, I'm more comfortable pairing warm tones with a darker lip or purple lip such as this one. Then taking this really deep matte red shade from that same palette and then just focusing this on the outer V of the eye only just to elongate the eye slightly. Then I'm going to be taking this pretty champagne color from the palette. I absolutely love this color. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm I'm packing this on with a crown brush. It doesn't have a name of it, sorry. Just onto my lid space. Then for the face, since our eyes are done, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. This is the smoothing one and just making sure to work this evenly all over my face. I really like to focus this around my cheek and nose area because this is where I feel like I have the largest pores. Then for cream contouring. Yay! I've been into cream contouring lately because of this palette. This is from Anastasia. This is their cream contour kit in the fair tone. I'm first taking the shade Mink onto an e.l.f. stippling brush and running this along my jaw or not my jaw sorry the hollow of my cheek first to chisel out my cheekbones and just in case you're wondering for those of you that know I do have oily skin and even though these are cream contours I can assure you that they do not make your skin any oilier so if you have oily skin you can totally use these I'm also taking that same shade and placing this along my jaw now and then switching over to the shade shadow I'm using this on the same brush to just brush against my temple and my hairline around my forehead just to kind of bring down and balance my forehead area I do feel like my forehead is more round so this really just helps not only bronze it up but it also again just kind of brings it down and balances my features out a little bit also the top of my forehead isn't naturally bronze like how some people's are so I kind of do this to also mimic that effect it does have a nice glow of light coming from the center as it darkens towards my hairline. Taking that same shade with a little bit of fawn mixed in, I am taking this on a smaller brush and just running this alongside my nose to just contour it and slim it down a slight bit. Then cleaning off my brush, I am taking the shade Soft Light, nope, that's wrong, Fair and running this along the bottom of my cheekbone contour. You don't have to do this, but this does intensify your contour. So if you really want that strong contour look, which for this I did only because I felt like it was appropriate with the really bold lip, then by all means you can place this color underneath there or you can totally skip it if you wanna keep it more on the soft side. I'm also using that same shade to place a little bit on the center of my forehead as well. Then switching over to soft light, I'm using this to apply right underneath my eye area. Again, just to bring light 
to the center of my face and to lift my cheekbones a little bit. I'm also taking a smaller brush and running the same shade along the bridge of my nose just to enhance the contour of it. For foundation, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in ivory. I am loving this foundation. In fact, I am loving the combo of this cream contour with this foundation. I feel like the pair work great together and I am blending this into my skin with a damp beauty blender. This foundation is not super full coverage. It does have a medium coverage in my opinion, but the pigment of the cream contours are so strong that it actually offers you a bit of coverage prior to your foundation. So when layering on a foundation on top, it just becomes full, which I think is super awesome. Then moving on to concealing my under eyes, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15 and placing this along the side of my nose and also just cleaning it up along my shadow, my eyeshadow, and just placing this on a small triangle shape underneath my eye area and feathering it outward. I'm also going to place a little bit of this concealer on between my eyebrows and down the bridge of my nose as well and center of my chin. I'm using the same beauty blender I use for my foundation to just buff this all into my skin and to melt it together with my foundation. Then for baking, I'm using my Laura Mercier A translucent setting powder. And while this is baking and I'm just placing this all over on top of where we place our concealer, I'm gonna be doing my brows off camera. I do have a full brow tutorial that was updated, so make sure to check that out if you're curious to see how I do my brows. Once my brows are done, I am just blending away this baking and just making sure to take off any excess powder. To warm up the highlighted areas I am just taking a little bit of the Anastasia banana powder and just setting this right underneath my eyes and anywhere else where we had put the NC15 concealer just to add a little bit of yellow and warmth to it. I don't want to be too gray looking. <laughs> then taking my Benefit Hoola bronzer, which is my favorite bronzer at the moment, on that same fluffy big powder brush I was using to set my under eyes and just brushing this alongside my cheekbones and across the forehead area on the upper part. Then this is right now currently my favorite brush to use for my nose contour. I don't have a specific name for it, but I will tell you in a minute what it's similar to and I know Morphe has one that's really, really similar. But I'm just taking a little bit of Fawn Contour Powder from Anastasia and just brushing this along the side of my nose and then also creating a visual break on the tip of my nose. So here's the brush that's from Morphe that is similar, except this one's a little bit larger, but they do make a smaller one. And this brush is the, let me get it here, MB30. And I'm actually using this to just define my cheek contour a little bit more. I'm taking a little bit of Java from the Anastasia powders and just running this along the side and bottom of that contour. And as you can tell here, look how sharp that contour is. You cannot beat that. <laughs> then for a little bit of glow, I am taking my Becca Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I'm actually going to wet it a little bit with some MAC Fix Plus, just one spray, don't go too overboard with it. And just building this along the high points of my cheek right now, I am currently loving an intense highlight. And I know I'm oily and people say to steer away from it if you're oily, but I don't care and I feel like it actually just works better for me and I just love the glow that I'm getting with this. Then I'm also gonna be taking a little bit of that champagne pop and placing it on the tip of my nose and also just right in between, kind of near my brows, just on the swoop of my nose to give a more lifted look. Of course, also taking this onto my cupid's bow and a little bit on the center of my chin. For blush, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette and surprisingly this palette is super good and I'm super impressed with it and I highly recommend it. And I'm applying my blush with my Luxie Tapered Face Brush. This is the number 520 and just brushing this from the apples of my cheek back towards my hairline. As you can tell, this blush is super pigmented and they're super blendable. Then I decided to take a little bit of champagne pop and add this just right underneath my brow bone and then taking that shimmery champagne color that we used on our lid, I'm spraying it with some Fix Plus and just popping that right into my tear duct. To cancel out any redness from my waterline, I'm using my NARS Rue Bonaparte Eyeliner, which is my favorite nude eyeliner of all time. And then with a flat brush, I am just pushing up a little bit of a matte brown color from that same Morphe palette up against my bottom lashes, just for slight definition. And then taking that red shade that we have placed on the outer V of our eye, right over that on top just to soften it up a bit and then picking up a little bit of the taupe matte shade we used in our crease onto a pencil brush and just running that softly along those two other darker colors. For lashes, I am using my Lily Lashes in the style Doha and while the glue is drying on those, I am doing my lips. We are using ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is a matte lippy stick in the color Nevermind. I believe this was part of their 90s throwback collection. I love this color. I've used a lot of purple in my life for lipstick, I feel like I have, and I feel like this one is for sure, hands down, 
my favorite one and I love the longevity of it and the price point because y'all know it's pretty affordable. Once the glue has dried, I am just going to be popping on my lashes. I love to wear these lashes with no liner looks. These are one of her more lightweight styles of her mink lashes, but they are still really full. So I highly recommend them if you're that person that doesn't want anything too heavy, but you still want a little bit of drama. I just love them. And then my dog was wanting some attention. Here's Jenny, guys. She's making a little cameo. But anyway, she took a nap on my lap after that. <laughs> then I'm just finishing popping on my lashes and once the lashes are on the look is completed I am then just to be spraying some Mac fix plus generously all over my face to give myself a nice dewy look and then finishing off with some urban decay all-nighter setting spray so once that is on and once that is dry this is the completed look guys I'm just gonna fan myself here really quick so I hope you all enjoyed this look I know I had fun creating it if you did give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys